see a summer soaker? Yes. Sure, Downtown fine. Birmingham. Wow. wow. Oh I goodness. mean, that is a cloud burst. Heavy rain moving into downtown Birmingham. This might create some minor flooding issues as folks are trying to get home. That uh, big storm has been sitting just west of downtown, creeping into the downtown area now. Not severe in terms of wind or hail, but rain and flooding, the main problem there. In fact, here's a look at the radar. And again, you can see that the heaviest rain is currently just west of I-65. Out toward Inslee, Wylam, the western part of Birmingham, West End. That's gradually creeping into the downtown area right here. Again, the main concern, just rain. Notice no lightning strikes in this, so not a thunderstorm. Technically, uh, technically, just a very heavy summer rain shower. Many spots dealing with those today. Here's the big picture. Showers and thunderstorms are drifting erratically today. The general motion is to the south at less than five miles an hour. We should mention there is a flood advisory for parts of Shelby County until 730. The rain is basically ended there, but we saw some big rains falling in this area about one hour ago. Down to the south, some heavier thunderstorms now occur in progress from near Galleon back over to Brent Centerville, curving into extreme southern Shelby County around Calera down toward Jemison and Chilton County, then back over toward Alexander City, northern part of Lake Martin, back over to parts of Chambers County. And again, anybody could see a shower or storm forming between now and about midnight tonight, but a weather change is on the way that includes drier air. Temperatures again today way below average. We have no 90s on the board. It's only 74 at the Shelby County Airport, downtown Birmingham. 85 at last report. Tuscaloosa 87, Anniston 83, Gadsden currently at 85. Showers and thunderstorms ending by about midnight tonight will be in the 70s all night. Lows tomorrow morning close to 73. Good news on the tropical weather scene. That wave out in the eastern Atlantic, Invest 97L has fizzled and we see no trouble anytime soon. Amazingly quiet for mid-August. No tropical storms, no hurricanes at least for the next five days. This is Future View. This is the hour by hour forecast showers and thunderstorms again ending by midnight tonight and watch what happens tomorrow a northerly flow here and that's going to push the deeper moisture down to the south meaning the better chance of showers and storms tomorrow across the southern half of the state most of you dry highs upper 80s to near 90 and that dry air is going to stay in place over the weekend and by Saturday morning it's going to feel pretty good we might see a little hint of fall in the air look at this low 60s for places like Aniana and Haleyville mid 60s elsewhere but highs for the weekend around 90, but the good news, the humidity values should be a bit lower by Saturday and Sunday. 89 tomorrow, just a very small chance of a shower, mainly well to the south. For the weekend, sunny days and fair nights, Saturday and Sunday, highs around 90, lows in the 60s, humidity values down. Monday looking mostly dry, then showers and storms come back in scattered spots by Tuesday and Wednesday up next week. Catch my forecast every day on great radio stations around the state, including in Birmingham, 98.7 KISS. All right, thank you, James. And and you can stay ahead of the weather with the ABC 3340 weather app. You'll have access to live radar, James weather blog and the 10 day forecast.